Hey everybody, welcome to round one. We've got ourselves a mildly keepable hand. We've got a turn one Typhoid Rats, uh, turn two, I guess we could dash out Shadow Spear if we wanted to, but we'll keep this one. It's not the best, it's not the worst. He's black as well. Oh, let's drop down our Swamp, drop down our Rats, pass the turn. Berserker's Rage is going to take a while to come out though, unfortunately. Hand of Silumgar. Sure thing. Well, let's see if he wants to trade that hand with the Shadow Spear. I'd be pretty okay with that. He does not. Makes sense. Black blue, so this could be a grindy game. Down comes a morph creature. All right. Well, we could dash Stormreach. Yeah, let's dash Stormreach. Still no trade. All right. Cast down the Shadow Spear and pass the turn. Gurmog Drowner. Is he going to exploit off of it? I assume he would. Gets rid of the Silum or the Hand of Silumgar. Sure thing. Throws away another hand, an island, and a Jeskai Sage. Looks like a fairly solid exploit deck. I do love me a Drowner in an exploit deck, that's for sure. Warbringer. Can't cast him this turn. Can dash him, but that wouldn't do me any good. So. I think we might just play the caves and play the Screamreach Brawler. But we're playing the caves regardless. Is he a two? He's a three three? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just play him down. And pass the turn. <coughs> Gadul Lurker, okay. So he's gonna be punching in for two every turn. Sounds good. And another morph. All right. Well, there's our mountain, so we could just drop down Berserker's Onslaught. Could just drop it down. And then I could attack in with the Typhoid Rats and the Brawler without fear. Yeah, let's do it. Coming in for six, basically. He could double block the brawler, and I'd be okay with that. No, he's just going to take the six. All right. Down to ten. <coughs> Come in for two. Totally fine. Down to 17. And then what are we going to see? Blue, black. Magmatic Chasm could have a place. Could have a place. Ojitai summons. All right, so he's gonna get himself a flyer. I get myself a swamp. So 
you'll basically have to block. So I think I'll attack in again. Keep up reach of shadows. If he double blocks, I may be able to get a two for one. Oh, he's just going to block there. All right. So the monk is dead. And then we will cast Outrider. Allowing me to potentially dash Warbringer next turn. Also making him a 4-2 double strike trample. So I could even potentially win just by blowing up whatever he blocks the Outrider with. If he blocks with only a single card. And he is down to two, which is pretty good. In with the Lurker and the Morph, eh? Um... Yeah, why not? I'll block the morph. Another drowner. Is he gonna exploit the lurker, maybe? Exploits the morph. It was a bell toll dragon. Interesting. I feel like we're in a pretty good position. Pretty darn good position. Bloodchin Rager. So I think we'll just swing in, leave up Reach of Shadows, and see if we can just end the game. And if not, then we can play some stuff. We could have a Whisk Away or something. He's going to block there. He's going to double block there. Uh, okay, so he has something. Doesn't really matter the order that they're blocking. He must have something, otherwise he's just dead. Right? Well, show me what it is. He's going to douse in gloom. The Outriders. Alright, so I will blow up the Drowner. So the Drowner will die, my Outrider will die, the Brawler will live. He'll go to 8. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. He's still in a position where he really can't attack. Rizzo Onslaught seems pretty good. <laughs> oh, reduce in stature. That's a jerk move. He's going to come in with both. Okay. Getting greedy. Uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's just dead. He's got no cards in hand. He's tapped out. And I'm going to swing in for eight. That seemed like a greedy move. I mean, I guess he had nothing, but the attack was super greedy. So we pulled that off. Mind Rot was not a card I wanted to draw. Um, is there anything I could trade that for? This is green or white, and he's black, blue. Sadist, Foul Tongue, Shriek. Maybe Foul Tongue, Shriek in exchange for the Mind Rot? There's been worse cards. Maybe just the Magmatic Chasm he only had. Well, no, I guess he had Monks and lots of them. And I'd still have to cast it in addition to dashing things out. Hmm. What could I put in? I feel like either trying the Chasm or trying the Shriek. Oh, Shriek's an instant. Why was I thinking it was an enchantment? 
That would be way big, way better if it was an enchantment. Um, Chasm. Well, he is a control deck, so Mind Rod actually wouldn't be bad. It was just not useful in that one specific situation. So yeah, let's just jump back in and see how it goes. Well, we've got another keepable-ish hand. We, uh, we've got a dash on three or a play on three. Um, we're going to need some other stuff, but it's a, it's a keepable hand. Swamp and nothing cool. Typhoid rats. That's not bad. Pass the turn. Let's see if we see another hand. Nope. Top deck of land. Perfect. Don't say that too often. <laughs> All right. So next turn we could dash in the assass or play the assassin. We could dash in the warbringer. Custodian of the Trove? I think we might just dash in the Warbringer then. Ooh, Merciless Executioner. I don't really care about the Custodian. But I also wouldn't mind it being dead. So we're going to swing in for one. Play the Executioner. Sack the rats. Potentially sack the executioner. No, I think rats would be better. Especially when I'm so close to having uh, onslaught online. All right, executioner. Our opponent has notably slowed down. That way, at least he can't play a Drowner and have a free exploit. He'd have to exploit itself and leave an empty board. All right, so we are going to sack our rats. He's going to sack the Custodian, and I'll pass the turn. Let's see what he's got for four. Yeah, Drowner. Is he going to exploit itself? He is not. Beautiful. So unfortunately, I can't super attack. I could mind rot him right now. He's got four cards sitting in hand. I'd rather do it, I think, next turn. Um, let's drop the Outrider. Got it for five. Sight beyond sight. All right, so he's going to look at the top two cards, uh, one into the hand and one on the bottom, and he gets to rebound it. Sure. Well, if we hit a land, we're coming in with a gigantic saber tooth, and we don't. So we could dash in the Warbringer. Saber tooth gives gets first strike. Gets first strike. All right. So we could dash in the Warbringer. And that would give us formidable for him. We could just mind rot him, take half the cards out of his hand. Don't know how many more are land though. Hmm. Could just play Marsh Hulk down as a morph, that would give me formidable as well. Or we could just play the Warbringer. Yeah, let's just play the Warbringer. He could have Coat with Venom, which would be pretty gross. But we'll see. Is he going to block? No block, so no Coat with Venom. Awesome.
He gets to sight beyond sight yet again. So he's got a full hand of cards now. Expect to see some sort of removal or something hit that uh, Outrider soon enough. Love to see him tap out for a Skywise Teachings again, though. Ooh, just fully passing the turn with a full hand and six mana. Well, that sounds suspicious. Could dash out Alicia's Vanguard for a black. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then, yeah, let's come in with everything except for the Executioner. Or perhaps he has something. And then we'll just mind rot to finish out the turn, I think. Will of the Naga is going to tap them down. Okay. That's a pain. And they're not going to untap. Bit of a pain. So I guess we'll attack with the Vanguard anyway and then play the Hood Assassin. Blow up the Drowner. Continue turning off his exploit. Seems good to me. We will destroy target creature. That one. And we have got ourselves a board. Ojitai summon. Sure thing. And a hand of Silgar. So now we could just trash his hand. We could just fully trash his hand. And I think that might be what we do. I think that might be what we do. We could dash in the vanguard. And that would trade with the hand, probably. Yeah, I think it'll trade with the hand, and I'm okay with that clear the board for a huge Berserker's uh, Onslaught next turn. In with him. Could come in with the Executioner too, since these are going to untap and he's going to be top decking. Yeah, let's do it. In for six. He's going to double block. He's going to go to a clear board. That's either a desperation move or it suggests he has blockers in hand. And we're going to see what's in hand. Ooh, good old lurker and a slum gar butcher. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's going to get a summons. He's going to get a single draw. And then we're going to have a 4-2 double striker, a 3-3 double striker, and a 1-2 double striker. And we're going to see what he has. Please don't be a contradict. There we go. We got it. All right. So the deck... Pulled it off. Turns out dashers with double strike are pretty good, and trample for that matter. But we're 1-0 uh, going into round two. We'll see if we can uh, maybe take down another draft. Uh, who knows? We're first step of the way there, at least. But I'll see you guys for round two.